Oh God, what, 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 his what? face and his arms. Tell me, tell me, oh, tell me, God. tell me. He's doing this with his hands. Why is this happening to me? Alex! <laughs> oh God, oh my God. What? There's an energy in this room that is not of this earth. The only way I can say it is like alien. Did you feel that? Oh! Are you okay? Something just tugged the back of my coat. Can you all try and move this table together? Try and make it move more. That was last night. Tonight is Halloween, and we have come to one of the most paranormally active places in the United Kingdom. We've come on the hunt for the ghosts of the witches of Pendle, and this is Most Haunted Live. Welcome to Most Haunted Live from Pendle Hill. This is, of course, Halloween. Traditionally, it's the most active night of the paranormal calendar. Its history goes back to before prehistoric times. There's evidence that early man used to perform dark rituals on this night to keep evil at bay and to mark the end of summer. And certainly, in the last 1,000 years, it's always been a night which is rich in paranormal phenomena. And this evening, on this dark and heavy Halloween night, we're going to investigate and explore one of Lancashire's darkest ghosts. The ghost of an event which still today causes local people to shudder. We're going in search of Demdike and Chattox, two of the Pendle Witches. Tonight, our investigation team scours the bleak and hostile countryside surrounding Pendle Hill in search of the infamous Lancashire Witches. We investigate the Witch's Sabbath, scene of the terrifying Good Friday meeting. A tumble-down Tudor ruin which locals will not enter after nightfall. A derelict barn where old Demdike is said to have bewitched a cow and Chattox cast a spell to turn milk sour. Did these women truly possess supernatural powers or were they innocent healers caught up in a world of paranoia? Join us for a truly terrifying Halloween experience, only on Most Wanted Live. Well, to help us on our psychic detective investigation, we have the cream of the paranormal world. So please, will you welcome the men in charge of our research. It's our historians, Richard Jones and Richard Felix. And with me on the sofa here is one of our experts, of course, it's our psychic, it's David Wells. Now, I can tell you that our parapsychologist and voice of reason, Matthew Smith, will be joining us a little later. And also following up on the leads that you, our viewers, pass on are the interactive team, ably headed by Mr Julian Clegg. And finally, no show could be, be complete without our incredible investigative team. I am told they are now arriving at the first of tonight's location. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Yvette Fielding, Derek Okora, and Kieran O'Keefe. <laughs> Well, good evening to you, Yvette, Derek, Kieran, and the rest of the team. Um, Yvette, witches, covens, secret meetings, dark rituals. What does that mean to you tonight? Um, I just want to say hello to everybody in the audience. Hi, everybody, and everybody watching at home. <laughs> we have no idea 
uh, what uh, to expect tonight. Uh, we do know that we're out on location. It's very, very dark. It's cold. Um, and we're right near to one of the first locations that we're going to go to. And it doesn't look nice at all. Now, of course, we're in the shadow of Pendle Hill. It's Halloween night, paranormally significant night. How are you feeling about tonight as opposed to last night? Last night was fantastic. What about tonight? <sighs> Well, because I know where we're going, Derek obviously doesn't know where we're going, I'm very, very nervous and very anxious because we're, we're dealing with a lot of history. We're hopefully going to uncover a lot of things that have happened to this place. Many, many people have experienced, seen things here, and they're not pleasant at all. So, I, hopefully, I want it all to happen, but at the same time I'm thinking, no, please, don't anything happen horrible. I, I have to add a, a sort of note of caution at this point, because I want you to remember, cast your mind back to last night, because last night David Wells was involved in an automatic writing experiment. He came up with some, well, ominous results, which might well be relevant for our investigation tonight. So let's just have a look at what happened last night. I don't know where we are geographically to the hill, but I think he's pointing to the hill, he's doing that. That's is that what the hill is? That's exactly what the hill is. Is it? Yeah. Okay. That's what he's saying. So he's pointing directly to the hill. He's saying wait. Wait. You know, I hate to be melodramatic about this, but this it's like he's saying wait until tomorrow. What does that mean, wait until tomorrow, David Wells? Well, I think he was referring to the fact that he's waiting for Yvette and Derek, whoever this being is. And I'd just like to point out that that noise you heard was because he was making me dig my hand into the paper in anger. So who was it? An angry spirit? Very. And does that make you nervous for Derek, Yvette and the rest of the team tonight? Certainly, yeah. It makes me nervous about what may happen. I know that Derek's very experienced and be able to handle it, but I don't think we're talking Teletubbies here. OK. Does that make you nervous, Yvette? Um, I've just uh, heard that. Um, it doesn't make me feel very happy at all. Derek obviously can't hear, so apparently David Wells is saying that last night he picked up on a not particularly very uh, nice entity saying that wait until tonight, basically. Yes. And they're going to be waiting for us. Well, David um, is a very good instrument of spirit, and if he's had that warning, I've got this apprehension also. I, I didn't want to tell you this, as severe as what it is, but there's something uh, of an energy that does not want us to go in or even talk about uh, the conditions on this property. I know you can't hear it, but there's some dogs further down there, but they keep howling. Howling, yeah. <laughs> OK, dogs, are, you know, they pick up conditions, even the negative conditions, a lot quicker than us humans. I'm, I'm um, sorry to break this up, Yvette. we just got to but, be, like I mentioned earlier, yes. very careful. I'm sorry to break this up, but I'm afraid it's time now for you and, of course, Derek, Kieran and the rest of the team to prepare yourselves for the, tonight's first vigil. So if you'd like to do that right now. And whilst they do that, let me tell you what we are going to do tonight. OK, we're investigating the story of the Lancashire witches. In 1612, Britain and Europe were in political turmoil. The church and politicians were clashing, and political paranoia led to a savage and brutal inquisition against the perceived threat of witchcraft, and thousands of people lost their lives. Two rival poor families in the Pendle Hill area, known as the Chattox and Demdikes, found themselves caught up in this purge, and their mutual recriminations eventually found them accused of practicing the dark arts. Once in court, they never petitioned their innocence, and they were savagely hanged. It's a harrowing story, and one which has reverberated down the generations, but the crucial thing about these witches is that they never protested their innocence, and there's a very strong feeling in these parts that they were genuine, malevolent witches. Now, the accused and their families met on Good Friday in 1612 to allegedly perform rituals and cast charms and spells. This witch's sabbat, as it's known, occurred at a place called Malkin Tower, somewhere in the Pendle Hill area. The building, well, it no longer exists, and no one knows exactly where it was. So tonight, we aim to find it. Julie. That's right. Well, the location of the sabbat and the Malkin Tower is a mystery. But last night, we asked you to use your combined forces to help us pinpoint it. We appealed to you to use your viewing powers to pinpoint where the Sabbat might be. And this is where you decided we should look.
Our remote viewing experiment led us to this valley. It is south of Pendle Hill and close to the famous village of Newham, which is itself rich in witch mythology. It seems you may have struck paranormal gold. Nestling in the valley are three eerie, lonely farmhouses, each which has paranormal stories of its own, and each looks like a likely candidate for the witch's sabbat. On the south side is Tynedale, deserted for the last 50 years, and 15th century in design, and with a sinister reputation. In the boggy, marshy bottom of the valley lies Bull Hole. The farm is home to the ghost of a slighted pregnant woman, and the barn has been paranormally active since records began. And up on the hill, Lower Well Head, once a local morgue, filled with wailings and footfalls. Could this be the rough building which once housed the machinations of a witch's coven? Now, as we visit these sites, we'll be asking you whether you believe the Pendle Witches were actually innocent country folk caught up in some kind of purge, or in fact, uh, devilish dark forces. And we need you to help us tonight. Were they really witches or not? As the evening progresses, your votes will be displayed on the screen, and by the end of the show, you will have decided. So, to vote, you have to text us by saying the words, haunted, space, yes, if you think they were actually witches with genuine powers, or haunted space no, if you think they were innocent victims. Now the text number, very importantly, 83088. Text costs 50 pence and we need as many people to vote on this as possible. And it's up to you what happens and how we decide. So we'll find out later in the programme. David, back to you. Thanks. Now, Yvette and Derek and the team have now reached the first candidate for the Sabbat. It's Lower Well Head Farm. The farm stands at the top of the valley and its recent renovation belies a darker history. This is an aerial photograph which shows it 20 years ago as a very small cottage. The rumours are that it sits on an old and now lost path called Corpse Way and the current owners believe it was once the local morgue. Either way, they've heard footsteps from upstairs and unusual moaning and movements around the upper floor. But what was its use in 1612? Was it really a morgue? And what was Corpse Way? One thing, it's certainly a great starting point for our search for the Pendle Witch's Sabbath. So, Yvette and the team, please will you start tonight's first vigil? Okay. Well, <clears throat> we're just coming inside Lower Wellhead Farm. Uh, the dogs are howling outside. Yeah, they are. Dark? Yeah, they're really, really oh, responding God. to these energies in the area here. And uh, it's a little bit disconcerting in the feelings. Okay. As we've entered this room here, yeah. we've only stepped a couple of steps, heavy, and the feelings all around me are, are, you know, there's a feeling of revulsion here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and it's surround, and it's, it's like, it's, a, it's a, alien, not alien, it's alien in the sense it doesn't, the energies do not want us here. Really? Really. And I feel, you know, I feel it's because um, I've got swirling around me here now, um, and I'm becoming more aware of it seems to be one, two, three spirit energies that are in this atmosphere. Now, I feel as if possibly maybe one of those energies could be upstairs, but I feel as if we, we are being watched right now. And, I, you know, the way I, I want to describe it is I've got both a male and male um, attitude of thought around us and also a female. And um, this female, she's elderly, um, or was elderly, um, a, an elderly woman, um, a woman that um, would uh, be, to me, uh, the personality sly of character. Okay. A sly character. Um, a person that would, um, uh, would be talking to you in a conversation and all the time her mind is on something else. It's like as if she's, you know, Hidden agendas, hidden agendas, hidden Who's agendas. The man with her? I feel it is a son. Okay. Any names? Um, I'll keep. I'll ask now. Okay. Um, we'll go further in a little bit. Okay. And you also said that you were getting a number of figures. Yes, I, mean, I feel you're about three a male and all. And a female. Yes, uh, three and all, oh, and oh, God, sorry. they are grouped together um, for some reason. Um, well, if it's like I feel, I, I just want to say a mother and maybe a son figure. Come on. Come on. Okay. <clears throat> a 
Elizabeth. Is that the name? Elizabeth. Is this the woman, Sam? Is that the woman? Okay. Give me it again. It sounds like device. 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 Elizabeth Devi Device. Elizabeth Device. Elizabeth Device. What period? What time period? What period is this, please? Again. Okay. He's given me one six one zero sixteen ten. Okay. Are they in the room now? Are they here with I us? I feel that like they're listening to are us. They? They're all listening to us. Do you want to go through? What's that? I just heard it. It's like a ting, ting, ting. ting yes, did you hear that? Yeah. You did. Yeah. Which direction did you hear it from? Through there. Yeah. Yeah. God, it's, I, I tell you what, I don't know what it is. I, I just feel really, I don't, I'm yeah. not comfortable at all. No, no. There's do you want to move through is, into yeah, there? Can we do that's where the sound yes. came from. Yeah. There's lots of furniture and stuff as well, so. Yeah. Just be careful. Watch the cables. You all right, Stuart? Just a This is quite a big room in here, isn't Yes, it? yeah. I'm also getting this, this feeling that's coming since we've moved into this area as well, as if I'm getting a number of um, uh, women folk um, whispering and talking and um, getting a feeling of um, sending out um, uh, deep um, negative thoughts, negative thoughts. And it's like as if, yes, there seems to be two of them now, two, two women. Two women, two women, okay. Yes. Whittle! Oh, God. Whittle, sorry, forgive me, Evie. Right. Whittle, Whittle, Whittle is this other lady. Okay. Whittle. Is that first name? It's surname. Okay. Come on, and, um, yes. It's like as if uh, they're getting heads together, they're getting heads together to do things, um, to um, conjure things up. And also they are preparing things. They are preparing things um, and it's, it's shady. It's not good. Um, they're talking about... So who is way, Elizabeth um, Device? Who is like Whittle? Um, and what will happen on Halloween night? We'll find out after this break. Welcome back to Most Haunted Live. It really is all happening here on this very special Halloween edition. Now, I can also tell you that uh, just before the break, Derek picked up on two names already, Elizabeth Device and Whittle. But before we go any further, there's more interactive news from our man Julian. David, thank you. First up, this uh, bit of psychic art came in about five minutes before Derek said Elizabeth, and it came through, here we are, it says Demdike up there, interestingly. Tried the automatic handwriting experiment and wrote what looks like Elizabeth down, and there is the picture, and that, that literally came in, in fact, it was coming off the facts before he went uh, live with that, so that's quite extraordinary. Now, can I quickly mention last night, to, to prove what a big show Most Haunted Live is, we had 85,000 viewer interactions last night on the text and the, the computers and the webcams, amazing, 85,000, absolutely amazing. <laughs> and, uh, and six and a half million hits on the website, quite extraordinary. Now, tonight's news about the webcams right now, these are, are your eyes and ears on our programme and the investigation, and it will help us more than you can imagine during the programme if you can go online and watch the cameras and let us know if anything is happening so we can look into it. Now, tonight we have all our web cameras in the Tyndale Farm area. First of all, we have one outside the old cobbled path, there it is. Then webcam two is in the old parlour. And then webcam three and four 
in the cellar, which interestingly the present owner refuses to go into the cellar, so please keep looking at those through the evening. Now to get in contact with us and let us know what you've seen, you can go to the website at livingtv.co.uk slash most haunted live. Text us on 80088, starting the message haunted space MSG, or fax us on 01200 425 737. And I've just got time to let you know about tonight's competition. This is a great prize tonight, and appropriately enough, you can win two nights at the Witchery in Edinburgh, described as one of the world's most wonderful places to stay and one of Edinburgh's hidden treasures and a guest book to die for, full of celebrity names. Now, simply answer this question. At the last live location, Mizartro, various EVPs were recorded. What does V stand for? A, vapour. B, vacuum, or C, voice. Now, if you know the answer, call this number 09015 or if you're a Sky viewer, press your red button right now to win that lovely prize. All calls will cost one pound. Right, let's get straight back to Lower Well Head Farm with Yvette and Derek and the team. Can you hear my voice if you can? Please try and talk to us now. Please give us a sign. We'll keep walking, Derek. Yes, yeah. Do you want to yes. go right around that Come way on, of the yes, table? Yes. Let's go through to the other room. Give any member of the crew a sign. Any people here in this building, touch one of us, pull our hair. Let us know that you're walking amongst us. What's this? It's a lounge. Anything? Are they here? Yes, they're, they're actually following us around. Are they? They're following our energies here. I'm very, very aware of them. They're cagey. They're cagey individuals, these. And it's like, it, it's like the, the, um, the hideous thoughts and, and stuff that they want to do. Do you know what? I, when I was a little bit, obviously, very apprehensive when we first came into the mm -hmm. building, mm -hmm. um, I know Carl um, saw something in one of the windows. Where are you, Carl? Carl, can you come through? Yeah. I just want you to tell everybody what exactly it is that you saw as you were coming in. Um, uh, well, when we were just outside and you did your first piece, mm. um, I turned around because I saw someone upstairs above this room through the window. I thought it was one of the crew. Uh, and I turned and asked who's upstairs, but we're all accounted for. We're all downstairs and just in the front room. It was a white face and it was, it was close to the window, but when I looked at it, it just moved back. So, um, and was it male, Carl? It, yeah, it, it, it had a, it had a, it had a male look, but long hair. And, I, and funny enough, I, I, I thought it, I thought initially it might be John, because mm -hmm. it, you know, uh, on sound, because it's a. Uh, and what about um, you heard a noise as well in here when we were on the on the break? You were hearing noises. Well, I came in here twice because I thought I heard rustling sounds, as if um, uh, usually when a crew crew member is is, is you know, trying to get out shot like mm. someone moving really quickly that's the noise you heard. and that's the noise i heard like okay. somebody running in here and i came in twice and there's two rooms this one and the next one mm -hmm. but there's no one in here should we try going upstairs because if that's where you've yeah. seen something mm. what do you reckon mm. yeah, i reckon yeah, yeah. Okay. It'd be good, it would be good to get some sort of objective measure okay. rather than just relying let's on go it. upstairs yeah. then yeah. yeah now john how do you want to do this do you want to go up up the the crew do you want to go up the stairs first pull a cable. let's pull up the cable yeah the cable's there first let's yeah. Look through. yeah. Go first. first. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've just got to be safe because we don't know where the heck. Can no. you hear those dogs outside? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry, the cable there. Okay. There's certainly an atmosphere in this everyone, place. Everyone, yeah. Everyone get out. Everybody, yeah. that's it. And then we can go up the stairs. Okay. Right. got to take it easy up these stairs. They're following us, they're still yeah. following us. Oh yes, the energies are still following us now. Do you feel drawn in any direction? Derek, where do you want to go? Come on, can we go to the right? This way? Yes. Yeah? Is that the way yeah. you saw it, Carl? Yeah, oh yeah.
Oh, there's no ladies' energies also. She's coming here now. Right, and that male, OK? They're here? Right, yeah. They're here? Yeah. In this room the now? The two energies are in here right now. And um, it's like as if I'm getting this... Um, it's the only way I can describe it, incantation sounds from the two of them. And like a cursing me, cursing me, cursing all of us. And it's like as if, uh, from the woman, it's as like as if she, it's disgusting. She, it's like when she's talking, she's spitting. Uh, she's an elderly woman, an elderly spirit person, this. And she's disgusting. Um, she, the way she's trying to, um, oh, God. It's, it's like she wants to take, she wants to take, what? She wants to scalp me. She wants to scalp me. Hey? She wants to scalp all of us. She take us. Yes. And she'd break our fingers. She would break our fingers and take them. She would also use our blood. She would use our blood, Ivy. Is this Elizabeth? Or... Is this Elizabeth? Go on. Who is this now? There's another energy, Ivy. Oh, God. Yeah. Go on. The one that's here now, very strong on this upper level. Is Elizabeth, is it the same Elizabeth? No, she's grouped with her. She's come in, she's, she's been knowledgeable, she's come across the fields right now. Elizabeth Southworth! Elizabeth Southworth! Whoa! This is a different... A different Elizabeth different. now. Okay. What does and the grouping together, the grouping together. Go on. Yes, yeah. She's trying to enter my energy here. She's trying to come in. Do you want to let her? No, I don't. I don't trust her, Evie. I do not trust this one. She's an old cagey thing. And um, she's got a few tricks up her sleeve. Do you think it would be a good idea to go downstairs and yes. try um, the glass um, divination on, on the table to maybe try and make contact? I'm sure with these yourself. will. What? You hear that? What? 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 See that screaming, squealing. What's happened? Who was it? What? A what? What's the matter? What? What's happened? What? What? What's happened? What's happened? This door. What, what do you mean this door? Both me and Carl are in here. It's really, really cold. And the door pushed. It was You're pushed joking. Close. I had hold of it. Are you alright? It's scary today. Mm -hmm. What room is this? Okay. <coughs> You're right. Yeah. It was, was pushed out your hands. Yeah, literally pushed. Car was over are there. Are they in here, Derek? Yes. They are. There's another one grouped in here now. Here we go again. Look, There's a group. There's about five or six of them. And look. Oh, the, oh, come on. What's your name? What's your first name? Elizabeth. Hmm? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Elizabeth who? Elizabeth who? Elizabeth who? If you can hear me and you can see me, please I answer can. the question. I can't. Well then tell me, what's your surname? Why do you want us to leave? Don't belong. Why don't we belong? You do not belong. Why? Tell me you why. You don't belong. We do belong. I belong here. You I belong here. I belong here. How did you die? How did you die? Can you hear me? Can you hear my voice? If you can, answer the question. How did you die? 
Not here. You didn't die here. No. Where did you die? <laughs> they... <laughs> Tell me, where they did you die? Thought, they thought. Well, how old are you? How old are you, Elizabeth? How old are you? 72, my freak all. 72. Do you know you're dead, Elizabeth? Elizabeth, do you know you're dead? Do you know you're dead? Derek, come on, Derek. Derek, Derek, come on, Derek, 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 come on, come, come forward, Derek, Derek, come forward, Derek, come forward, Derek, come forward. Hey, hey, Derek, come forward. Hey, 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 Okay, we've got some steps. Sit, 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 sit in there, sit in there. It'll be fine in there. There's the wall, there's the wall. Sit down. Derek, sit down. Come on down, mate. Come on down. Derek, it's Carl here. <laughs> Derek, it's Carl. Oh, Carl. Carl. Derek, Carl's here. Come on, mate. Come on, Derek, come forward. Come forward. Oh, amazing stuff there. Oh, the plot thickens, and I really hope you're putting aside childish things like pumpkins, apple bobbing, and all of that stuff, and you're realising that Halloween is much, much more than that. What else will happen on this programme? Find out after the break. live on this Halloween night. Now, extraordinary stuff has already happened tonight. I have to tell you that Derek has already been taken away from our first location tonight, temporarily, to recover from what happened before the break. Let's just remind ourselves of what happened. Derek, Derek, come, on. Come, on. come forward. Derek, Derek, come forward. Derek, come forward. Derek, come forward. Derek, Derek, come forward. OK, so let's go and join them now, back at uh, the live vigil. Here in this house, please come forward. Please move this glass now. Please move this glass. We have just witnessed this glass moving on its own and nobody was touching it. Uh, I don't know if we were recording while we were on the break, but we had the most awful thing happen. We heard a noise. Carl felt something across his face. We all screamed. We heard noises behind us. Kieran went and checked out. There was nobody in the other room. We've just put our fingers on the glass. When we all screamed the glass moved all on its own and it's just moved again okay and Derek and okay apparently that we've recorded it so have a look at, at uh, what just happened there's a person here in this room with us now please could you try and move this glass for us but we need you to move it use our collective energy here use everybody's energy and try and talk to us by using the glass who's in there yeah. who's in there I just double checked before there's nobody in there Who's in there? Oh my God. Is there anybody in there? Nobody. Heard that, didn't you? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no! What the hell? Is anyone what in there? Happened? What just happened? Okay. Shit. Okay. Right. Should we try and put our fingers back on the glass? What do you think? Yeah. Yes, Kieran? Kieran? Yes. Are you all all right? Derek, yeah. are you all right, yes, Derek? I'm okay, yeah, yeah. All right, put okay, your fingers on the okay. glass. Can we just stay here? Yeah, stay there. Come on. Stay there. Come on. Derek, you let us know, okay? okay. Yes, Elizabeth yes. Demdike, if that was you that was... It's moving. Please try and give us a sign. Please move this glass more for us now. Give us a sign now that you are here. If there's anybody here in this room now, any astral being that wants to speak to us, please make your presence known. Please make this glass move as a sign of yes that you are. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> 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 my name. Who did it tell me? 
Too you soon. speak my name! Too soon. Show it! Hey, no, no. Right? Elizabeth Sullivan! Oh, he's grabbed my head! You're joking! Right, John, John, something's just grabbed Cat's head! Jeez! Oh, Here we go, Derek. Derek, Derek, Derek. You're right. Come on, let's try and come on. Come on, come on, come on. Like that? And you need to give me a shout. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> okay, everybody, arms off the table, arms off the table. Kieran, can you just explain to ha happen? Sorry, Kieran, can you just explain what's happening with the glass? Yeah, this is another form of, form of communication, like table til tilting. It has its roots in Victorian spiritualism, Smoothie. and this is what the group is attempting now. And we're using the same group that we tend to always do on investigations. Because that's what research says. It's moving. Oh, okay. Oh Are you here with us now? Please, you need to move the glass more for us. Please move the glass for us. There's a sign of yes that we are that you can see us, and you are trying to communicate with us. If you are Elizabeth Demdike, please move the glass for us now. Please move the glass for us now. If you are not Elizabeth Demdike, if you are another spirit person here in this room with us now, please move the glass. Are you male? If you are, please move the glass for us. If you're female, please move the glass for us now. Are you a lady? Please move the glass. Please try very hard and move this glass for us now. You moved it before, please try harder. Please try... What was that? Me. Oh, it's you. Okay. It feels like it's turning. It's spinning. It's, yeah. yeah. That's what it feels it's like. It's that little you? movement. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Do you know, it's, it's like when I'm not asking anything, it's moving. There we uh, go. Do we do? Do we do? Do we do? Just, right. Just move your fingers around. Move. Okay. I don't know what to do, Kieran. It seems to move when I'm not asking a question. <gasps> Just continue. And, each of you take your finger off one at a time. When it moves? No. Yeah, when it moves. When Sally, stay off. Please move this glass again for us. If you wish us to leave, if you don't want us here, then move the glass. If you wish us to leave, then move the glass. Make your presence known. Please push the glass off the table, smash the glass. Let us know and we will leave you alone. We will leave you in peace. Please try and move this glass now. Please move the glass. I'm going to stop talking. Put your finger back on, Carl. Please move the glass for us. You've just done it. Please do it again. Please do it again. Please try harder. Please move the glass for us now. Please. What were the other names that Derek came up with? We've got Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Elizabeth that's Southworth. Elizabeth Southworth. Is it you? Are you here in this room with us now? Any more? Uh, Elizabeth mentioned Lancaster. Hated Lancaster. Do you hate Lancaster? Do you hate being here? Do you hate being here? Do you hate us being here? Do you hate us being here? Do you hate us being here in this room, in this house? Nothing. Nothing. Take your fingers off the glass. It moved all on its own before. Put it in the dead centre. Everybody take their hands, hands off the table. Nobody lean on the table at all. Nobody lean on the table. Can you make this glass move for us now, please, as a sign that you wish us to leave? Make it go off the table as a sign that you want us to leave and we will go. Please move the glass. Make it move off the table. Make it fly off the table and we will go. We will leave you in peace. Please, please move the glass. Nothing. Is everybody all right? Are you Is everybody all right? Are you all right? Yeah. Can, I, can I suggest something? Yeah, I'm going to hand back. I'm going to. I'm going to hand back to David. Um, <laughs> unbelievable! Just 
sorry, I just we're, we're all a little bit freaked out. I don't know how. Are the crew all freaked out? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think you can safely say we're all really freaked out here. I don't okay, know how everybody you. else is feeling. Thank you very We're much. We're going to go check on Derek, make sure he's OK. All right, David. Thanks very much indeed. David Wells, what do you make of what you're seeing? It doesn't surprise me. Why not? not? at all. You went there today, didn't you? I did, yeah. I, I like to go around the locations just so that I know uh, what I'm talking about here. And that house, the stuff that Derek was saying is sort of more or less what I got earlier. The door moving, we saw the same door move. Today. The same door move the when you went around this door. afternoon? Yeah, absolutely. And what about these, um, you mentioned also that you heard similar things. What did you hear this afternoon? Well, I heard noises, um, but, but I think what was important was the grandmother figure. I didn't get her name, I must confess, but she was at me to leave and she was trying everything she could, just like Derek. To did you get leave. any names, that, like, the same that Derek came up with? Not the ones that Derek has. OK, no. let me just ask the historians, because um, those names, Elizabeth Device Whittle and Elizabeth... Southworth, Richard Jones, who are they? Uh, well, they, they were uh, the pen, uh, part of the Pendle Witches. Uh, for example, Elizabeth Device was the mother of Alison Device, and Alison Device was the girl who uh, well, cursed an itinerant uh, t peddler, and she brought the whole Pendle thing to a head. Uh, and then you had Elizabeth Southerner, she was also known as Old Demdike, so that was Demdike. Uh, and so that, had... that would explain why Demdike came up through Derek? Yes, indeed, yeah. Uh, also, uh, Anne Whittle was Old Chattox. Uh, both of them were blind as well. I do recall at one stage Derek was saying he couldn't see. Uh, but it, so it was interesting, wasn't it, when he said Demdike and then um, she, uh, Yvette pressed him and said, what is your name? And then he said Elizabeth. Yes, yes. And that would accord with what you know? It would indeed, yes. What, what do you make of this, uh, Richard? It's Phillips? amazing. I'll tell you one thing I have just noticed, that when Derek was starting to get possessed and he was going out, he actually, I don't know if we could record it or get it back again, but he said, uh, my name is not Demdike. And, of course, that was a nickname. Her name was Elizabeth Southern. And she, he actually said, my name is Elizabeth, and I'm sure he said Southern, which I s seemed to annoy the old gal, we'll to say the least. It would be very interesting to see. But, I mean, that business of the, um, the glass, again, I mean, that is genuine. That really, really works, you know. It's a very, very active house, because it was a, a form of mortuary as well. So, uh, And also, I, you know, I know the team very, very well, and those were real, real screams of horror. Oh, good Lord, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's no getting away from it. I mean, you put yourself in that situation as I am as well sometimes, it, it's very frightening. And they are genuinely, uh, at this moment, um, highly charged and quite frightened. They're highly charged Absolutely. and Absolutely. So who knows what's going to happen next, yeah, to be who quite knows. honest with you. So what will happen next on this Halloween night? Find out in a few minutes after this break. most haunted live on this quite amazing night. Now, already it appears that Derek has been possessed twice. Let's have a look. Was, please make your presence known. Please make this glass move as a sign of yes that you are... My name? Too soon. You speak my name! Too soon. Elizabeth! Elizabeth, sorry! Please grab my head! You're joking! John, John, something's just grabbed Kat's head! Please call it down, Jeez! And as you heard, uh, Derek said, my name is Elizabeth Southern, which is exactly what Richard Felix said just before the break, being old Demdike. Extraordinary stuff. But what will happen next? Julian, what uh, can you tell us? Well, I just want to go back to that uh, psychic art we had earlier, because we mentioned Elizabeth, and actually, Elizabeth Southern, and that was the name on it. And look, there's the automatic hand handwriting there saying Elizabeth Southern. So I just want to show you that uh, from earlier on. That came in before all of this happened. On, on air. Now, some lots of messages in, uh, coming in. Thank you very much for this. Chris from Prodigy Preeth is getting the name Mary over in his mind. Uh, a witch named Mary is the one who's trying to move the glass, he says. Several people, including Georgia from Surbiton, reported the uh, shadowy figure of a young child following Yvette and Derek up the stairs. Kirsty from Wellingore said that when Derek collapsed on screen, a freak wind swept through her house and all the lights went out. We get lots of reports like that every time we do Most Haunted Live. Uh, and a couple of more. Ryan in Somerset says that when the crew were going up the stairs, he saw an old woman behind Derek and she said, be gone, intruders. And Caroline in Newton Abbott said that when Carl was just telling the crew what he saw, there were flashing lights behind him on the left-hand side. So keep all that reaction coming in, please. 
Now, this vote we're running at the moment, overwhelming response on, the, on this, were they uh, witches uh, guilty of genuine evil or were they innocent country folk? That's the question we're asking and the results are looking like this. 80% of you believe they were genuine witches. 20% say no. That is how it's standing at the moment, but it could change as the programme goes on. So to vote, you have to text saying the words haunted space yes, if you think they are guilty of actually being witches with genuine powers, or haunted space no, if you think they were innocent victims. The number, very important, 83088. Text us on that number. Just a couple of moments on the EVPs. We've posted more of those uh, uh, recordings on our website tonight, and a couple of ones recorded last night at the Trinity Centre. So please listen to those and let us know what you think they are and how they might shed some light on the witch's story tonight. More from Interactive later. David, back to you. Thanks very much indeed, Julian. Well, we're in Lancashire on the edge of our seats and the edge of Pendle Hill. It's possibly one of the most paranormally powerful regions in the country. Now, our investigation team has been guided by you in their search for the witch's Sabbath. That's the final meeting place for the legendary Pendle witches before many of them were hanged. Now, it's rumoured to be a place of dark and mysterious energies, and you've led us to the Bull Hole Valley, which is near Sabden. Well, it's time to go to Bullhole Farm itself. So, just before we do, let's get a sense of what's been going on there. Bullhole Farm is central to the Lancashire Witch Trial and was once owned by one of Pendle's own witches, Alice Nutter and family. The ancient barn is said to be the location where Old Demdike bewitched a cow and Chattox put a charm on milk. Could this be the original meeting place of the witches? The stunning stone farmhouse has its own presence too. A spirit lady thought to be a shunned pregnant serving girl keeps a protective and watchful eye over the lady residence, but is said to have a total disregard of men. Well, I'm joined now by Anne-Marie Gallagher. She's an expert in witches and she is a witch herself. Can you explain the difference between you being a witch and the sort of spirits that we may be encountering tonight? Witches today are people who celebrate the cycle of the seasons and work with the natural energies of the earth. This type of witchcraft that the Pendle witches were accused of doesn't fall into that category at all. So you're quite different? Yes. Can you shed any light at all onto what's been going on tonight? It's very interesting. I don't know if I can actually, but if there are very angry spirits about, and I was one of the Pendle witches, I'd be pretty angry too. They, their story was pretty horrible, really. Um, and whether they were actually guilty of the witchcraft that they were accused of, I'm not entirely sure. Were they innocent country folk? They were country folk, but I don't know if they were innocent. And, and at this sort of Sabbat, what sort of things might have happened there? The Sabbat, I have to tell you categorically, is a fantasy in the minds of the people who used to accuse others of witchcraft. It's How do we know that? It's very unlikely, given the demography of the area, that sabbats of that type were actually... You, you could celebrate them. Uh, very much comes from the continental ideas about witchcraft. So the, it, there was already a script, if you like, in the accusers' minds before they accused anybody of witchcraft. Let me just bring David Wells in there. Would you agree with that? Uh, yes, I would. I would. But I would like to point out, you know, that the difference between a wicca, witchcraft... Uh, every single faith, religion, whatever, has a darker side. And who, who's, who's in the darker side, who's in the lighter side? Usually, thankfully, more people in the light than the dark. You know, this type of witchcraft, the, the type, the dark witchcraft did exist, but predominantly, it's not. You know, it's a celebration, like you said, of life and the way that the cycles work. Now, why are these spirits seeming to come through so strongly tonight? It's Sawain. It's the time when the veil between the worlds of the living and the worlds of the dead is, is at its thinnest. Because it's Halloween? Yes. Mm. You said something to me earlier about why they're coming through so strongly. Well, I think if you're paranormal in life, in other words, you're dealing with these arts in life, there's every chance that in death you will be more powerful because you've got kind of like a leg up the ladder, if you like. Why? Because you know how to communicate? Yeah, you know what's going to happen. You know, you've got those arts under your belt. And certainly I came up against this particular uh, lady when I was in the house, and she was very, very talented at having a go at me, but thankfully I had to go back. What do you know about Bull Hole Farm? I, I personally, I've never been there, but it looks like a, an interesting place to go and visit. I certainly would like to go. Did you go there earlier today? I did. And how did you find it? 
Um, all three locations are very interesting, but they're very, very active. What I found particularly interesting was I had two people with me, one security guy and one researcher, and at all three locations, they felt something. And what's really interesting from a witch's perspective, this is a very slight, and it's the little things that make the details. There is a mirror outside in every location still. Mirrors are very important to witchcraft. There is a mirror in every single location. What does that mean? That. Well, maybe you could explain what okay. mirrors. Mirrors are very powerful. Um, they used to be used because of their reflective powers. If you think about them, you can see a three-dimensional world on what's a flat surface. So sure. that adds to the idea that it's quite mysterious. But mirrors also reflect and send back energy. If these mirrors are on the outside of houses, then they're designed to keep away the evil eye. OK, now... You say you're a witch. Why did these witches not protest their innocence when they were asked? If they were innocent? If they were, right. There, there are pretty good reasons why they wouldn't have. They may not have had um, recourse to legal advice for a start. These are very, <laughs> I don't think that kind of very, existed. No, these are very poor people. They're eking a living on the edge of existence, really. Um, and certainly when they were imprisoned, they would have been separated, told different stories about what the other one had told each other then you fall into one implicating another and it becomes almost a, a textbook case of the type of thing that we now call a witch hunt where people accuse each other out of fear. And how, finally, how malevolent can witches be? Well, I'm going to disagree with David. <laughs> there isn't a dark side to Wicca. If you're malevolent, you're not a witch. But I'm not saying that these people didn't have a little bit of folk magic under their belt and they weren't capable of using the idea of fear in order to make people a little bit wary of their powers. David, can witches be malevolent? Um, uh, no. I, I, think, I think witches can be manipulative. <laughs> OK, well, let's find out <laughs> exactly <laughs> what happens now as we cross over to Bull Hole Farm. OK, well, here we are. We've just uh, gone through a load of mud at the back, trying not to uh, get stuck in any of it. And we've arrived here. In, in where they, at the, obviously there used to be a roof here, there's no roof whatsoever. The moon is just shining beautifully uh, over the top of us there. Um, now, Derek, yes. how are you feeling? Um, a little bit um, uh, shady, but I'm, I'm, I'm back right. to myself now, yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah. That's yeah. all right, gave yeah. us all a bit of a fright there. I think yeah. never heard so much screaming going on in such a short period of yeah. time. Yeah. Um, well, here, I mean, this is it, this, this is the space that we want to investigate. Now, we're just going to totally rely upon your senses and your feelings. And what do you think is the best thing, whether to go up and touch the side of the building, maybe do a little bit of psychometry? Yes. Do you want to I'd try like that? to try and, and uh, touch the fabric of this yeah? uh, uh, building. Can I go in this direction? Yeah, of course, yeah. Because I seem to be drawn over this way. God, watch the mud. Yeah, OK. Oh, God. What, right in this corner? What the heck's in there? Oh, this is... Oh, right, that's through there. That's another bit. Oh, it's a horsey. Right, OK. You all right, Derek? I'm getting blood pouring out, coming out so strong. And it, it seems to be... I can't quite make out what this is. It seems to be uh, blood. There seems to be um, a lot... Um, a group of uh, people... Mm -hmm. They seem to be um, all of one mind. Right. Yes, I'm okay. If, okay, give me that mental imagery, please, Sam. Again, it wasn't clear. Give it more clearly to me. You know what I'm seeing now is I, I've got. Um, I'm seeing three figures must be going through. Uh, what they're doing, it's like as if they were digging, they were digging, and the next minute I saw them dragging out um, this uh, poor soul. This is a, a, a person that had left the physical body, who's been buried, and they're dragging this poor soul out, and they're taking them, and it's lying them down, and they're unshrouding them, they're taking the things away, and they seem to be, oh my God. They seem to be stripping, stripping, not of clothes, but they're stripping these um, corpses. Be right. careful where you're stepping. OK. And I've seen the fingers... Oh, look at that, what they're doing. What are they doing? They're taking the... They're cutting the fingers. 
Why are they cutting their fingers off? Well, why are they cutting their fingers? The tape, the, it's necessary. They're taping them away. They're taping them away. It's necessary. Look, she's taking, she, it's her. Who's that one? Who's that one that I'm seeing, Sam? What's her name? Yes. She was wicked. She still is wicked. Alison. Alison. Alison? Alison. And she's the one who's cutting. She's oh cutting. Who's the older woman? Who's helping her? Who am I seeing helping her? That's Anne. Anne. She's another one that's spitting at me. Can you see them? Are they here now? I can feel them now, yes. Are they here and around us? Right. You're all right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. Yeah, you're right. Take you're that right. off me neck. Take, Take it, off. it off me neck. It's all right. Take it off. Don't Take it off right. my neck, you. Take it off. Who's this that's doing this to me? All right. Oh, is that the way you went? Is it? Maybe right. you deserve to go that way. You're all right. Take it off, I said. Sam, take it off me. You're right. Anne, <coughs> who is it? Anne Shepherd. Anne Shepherd, they strung her up. They strung her up. She's cursing them. She's cursing. She's cursing them. Who's she cursing? Who's she cursing? She's cursing the, those who've um, accused her. Who's accused her? Who's accused her? Who is it? Who's accused her? It's John. 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 John who? John who? John who? When is it? What date is this? 1612! You all right? Derek, can you hear me? It's all right. Derek, can you hear me? Yes, if, yes. Yeah, yeah, you Take okay? it off my neck. You all right? Yes, yes. yes. You OK? Alison Device. Alison Device. Alison Device. She's cutting. She was doing the cutting. She was doing the cutting. Anne was helping her and from those corpses and taking them back. She wants them for the group. She wants them for the group. Right. Yes, right. yes. Right. Yes. There's a group of them, Ivy. Where a group are they of here them. now? How many? No. How many? How many? There's seven in attendance here. Now? There's seven around and they're, they're, they're scorning us. What they're they scorning saying? us. They're saying we haven't got the power. We haven't got the power. We haven't got the... We have got the power. We can stop you. We can block you. You haven't got the strength. You haven't got your auric field. I know. You all right? Yes. You OK? Just let me get this. What are you doing? Is that your crystal? Can you see this? Can you see it? This is our power. This is our strength. OK? You're a weakness now. Even in your collectiveness, you cannot harm any of us. None of you. OK. OK. You all right? Yes, I'm OK. You really did feel like something was right round your yes, throat. Yes, I, I did a rope round my neck and I was getting strung up. Can they do anything in here now? I mean, not to... Can they, they, they prove their, their presence here? Yes, they've... You see, what they're doing, they're, they're travelling with us. You're joking? They're, they're travelling with us, Evie. This is how nasty and not good they are. And they've gathered the strength and momentum by calling each other. So when we go to the next location, are they going to oh, be Oh, they're us? all going to be there. Oh. I feel it, okay. yeah. We want to get to the next location, David, um, though I'm not looking forward to it after that bit of information. So uh, I don't know what, what, what information that uh, Derek has come out with there, whether our historians can back up anything like that. OK? Thank you very much indeed, Yvette. So there you are, spirits allegedly travelling with them wherever they go tonight. So please keep voting for whether you believe the Pendle Witches were innocent victims of the nation's paranoia and suspicion, or were they real witches and warlocks intent on wickedness? There is so much more to come after this break. Welcome back to Most Haunted Live on this Halloween night. It has been an extraordinary night. 
so far. It appears that Derek has been possessed a number of times. Let's have a look at what's happened so far. Come forward, Derek. Derek, come forward. Derek, come forward. Derek, come forward. Derek, Derek, come forward. Please make your presence known. Please make this glass move as a sign of yes that you are. <laughs> Take it off my neck, you. Take it David off. Wells, what on earth is going on tonight? It's just it's just like we said, we were expecting big things from tonight. And I think the key really is that um, Derek is up against people with power of their own as well. What about this thing that um, Derek said, they're travelling with us? Yes, that's exactly what happened to me earlier today. Wherever we went, there was almost like they flopped with us, moved around you with us. You felt exactly the same as I Exactly the same thing. And what about, did you pick any names up, particularly at Bullhole Farm? Alison. The same name that Derek picked up. Yeah. What about this, uh, I just want to go back to the Lower Well Head Farm, and the fact that um, Derek said that he felt that the spirit he connected to, Elizabeth, wanted to scalp him. Now, I want to pick, up, pick you up on something you said just before the break, which was witches aren't, partic aren't, aren't those sort of people who are nasty. That's pretty nasty. That's pretty nasty, but that's a nasty individual. It's like saying... But can yeah, witches actually be malevolent, was the question. Well, I think it's a general term. A particular witch could be. So witches could be malevolent? A witch could be. Or a number of witches could be? Well, if she's got a friend, maybe. Thank you. So the answer's <laughs> yes. Right, good. Um, <laughs> historians, you, Richard Jones and Richard Felix. Let's go back to Bullhole Farm. Um, these figures. Alison Device gripping Derek's throat. Who is Alison Device? Well, I, I don't think he, he came out with the name Device, but he certainly came out no, with the did. name... No, he did. Oh, he did. No, he did, yeah. yeah. Well, Alison Device was the 18-year-old daughter uh, of the house, and she was the one who, in March, had cursed the peddler. And he did come up with the name John, didn't he? And the peddler's yes. name was John Law. Whether she actually cursed him, I, I, I doubt very much. He Sorry, was uh, all, what he said was, Alison Device accuses John in 1612. What is that? Well, what, what basically happened was that uh, John, John Law was a peddler, and he was on the road and she approached him and tried a to beggar. beg some pins off him. A peddler. A peddler. So he, he tra a travelling salesman, basically. Right. He, he was on the road, she approached him, tried to beg some pins from him. He refused to give her any pins, and she lost the temper. Uh, probably in the heat of a moment, she just said something to him, but it was very unfortunate that as he walked away, he'd gone 200 yards, and he dropped down with a stroke. Uh, and that's what sparked off the whole Pendle witchcraft uh, trial, etc. So, allegedly, she did curse him. Allegedly, she, I mean, in, in the heat of a moment, if I'd said something to Richard here, in the heat of a moment, then, uh, <laughs> then that might go. But it's also just, very quickly, it's very interesting what Anne-Marie said there about Sabbath being in the minds of other people, because this was the very first time in, in an English legal case that the Sabbath was actually used against witches, and it was very much in the mind of the magistrate, Roger Nowell. He wanted to find a Sabbath, Rich which was probably an innocent meeting. Richard? Yes, well, incredible, the bit about him talking about them... Uh, Digging up and stripping bodies. Yes. Yeah, well, Why just, are they cutting the fingers off? All sorts. Of, well, listen to this. I've just found this um, little article written not long after the event. And finally, dug up secretly by night from the cemetery at New Church, which is in fact the church just to the right of this farm that they're at now. Um, dig it where they buried and where they were buried, and so carried them to the aforesaid synagogue and college of witches. There they did offer them to the prince of devils sitting upon his throne, and did draw off their fat and to be to be kept for their use, and cut off their heads, hands, and feet, and did cook and stew their trunks, and sometimes roast them. How's about that? Really pleasant. Lovely. Thanks very much. Um, okay, I want to go into the audience because. Um, as always with this programme, I'm very interested to know what happens to our studio audience. Um, uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, Philip. Philip, what happened to you when Derek was being possessed? Explain exactly, or appeared to be possessed, explain exactly what well, happened to you. When um, it was like being, you know, the throttling, I had a very sharp but kind of dull pain at the back of my neck. It was as if like, there was a big knot there. So you felt that at the same time that Derek felt the pressure yeah. on his throat? Yeah. And you're not alone, actually, because this is Gareth. What happened to you? During the break, I've had some tingling around this area on my neck here, and it's continuing now. So Do you normally like... have any tingling no, in your neck? No, not there. OK. And there was a lady I spoke to as well during the break. Where have you gone? Oh, Emma, there you are. 
Um, let me just squeeze in here. Emma, what, tell me what you were feeling during that particular same, moment with Derek. The same happened to me across my collarbone. It was pressure. I just feel like pressure pulling down on my neck. Do you think you're psychic? I feel I have some psychic sense. And you felt that before tonight? No, that was during... Just when... tonight? So tonight has changed how you perceive the whole no, of I've this? I've always felt something, but... OK. It's just when uh, Derek was doing that, it was, I was feeling okay. on my neck. All right, thank you very much, Emma. Julian. Well, David, extraordinary response to these possessions. I just want to tell you, lots of reports of strong smell. Sour milk, people say they can smell that. Mandy from Pill Smelt Violets, whilst Teresa from Macclesfield Smelt Decaying Meat. But I'd say the majority of texts coming in saying sour milk. Uh, livingtv.co.uk forward slash most haunted live for your messages. And, of course, uh, the text 80088 uh, haunted then MSG for your message, please. Uh, and more of those to come a little bit later on as well. Now, we've got a... Another experiment for you to get involved in tonight. Very interesting. This our last location tonight is Tyndale Farm, which is owned by the Nutter family. Now they currently live in a farm across the valley, and they're direct descendants of Alice Nutter, one of the infamous Pendle witches. Now before the show, Laura Nutter let us have an old family heirloom, and we've put it in this box. And I have supervised this myself. I would move it, but it might give you an indication of how heavy the object is. So it's in this box. You've got an idea, maybe on size, but I'll say no more. We'd like you to test your psychic abilities by drawing what you think is in this box. And we will open the box later in the show and see how accurate your psychic drawing is. So, please fax your pictures and messages and so on to 01200 425 737. Okay, so it's 01200 425 Seven three seven. Now, the latest on the guilty, not guilty vote, which we're running this evening, were the witches actually real witches or not? The very latest on that is 82% of you are saying the accused were proper witches, um, and it's 18% claiming they were innocent victims. To get involved, just text us, haunted space, yes, if you think they were genuine, haunted space, no, if they weren't, the number 83088. Now, I want to remind you of the competition because the lines close on this at 11 o'clock. So very important we get this in and uh, we want you to get involved. It's a lovely prize, this. An opportunity to spend two nights. This is the prize. Great. Two nights at the Witchery in Edinburgh, recently described in a magazine as the world's most wonderful place to stay. It's marvellous, believe me, and one of Edinburgh's hidden treasures. To win that prize, this is what you do. We talk about EVPs on the show all the time, but what does the V stand for? Is it A, vapour? B, vacuum, or C, voice? If you know the answer, get on that phone straight away. 09015 Or if you're a Sky viewer, get to that red button straight away and press your red button. All those calls will cost £1, and good luck, and we'll announce the winners a bit later on. David, back to you. Thank you very much indeed, Judy. Well, already tonight we seem to have seen numerous possessions, travelling angry spirits. We appear to have met the Pendle witches, but what will happen next? You can't afford to go anywhere. Well, welcome back to Most Haunted Live here on this Halloween night. Now, breaking news, I'm delighted to say that our paranormal psychologist has arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Smith. <laughs> now, the reason that Matthew was delayed was because of the enormous amount of traffic around this area, because of all the revellers that are now on Pendle Hill, because, of course, Halloween is, uh, is when they all gather. Uh, but we're delighted that you're here. Um, now, Matthew, tonight you have missed a lot. Has he, ha he's missed an awful lot, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's just recap. Basically, Derek appears to have been possessed a number of times. We've right, okay. uh, encountered the spirits which seem to be the Pendle Witches. Apart from that, you've missed very little. But let's have a look at exactly what you've missed. Come, on. come, come forward, Derek. Derek, come, come forward. forward. Derek, come forward. Derek, come forward. Derek, Derek, come forward. Please make your presence known. Please make this glass move as a sign of yes that you are. Oh, 
Mate, Nicky. Who's been selling me? I'm sorry to put you in the hot seat. What do you make of that? Well, You've seen it for the first time. That's the first time I've seen it, but it's not the first time, of course, I've seen Derek getting possessed. Um, one might even say it's happening more and more often. So, it doesn't surprise me, I've said it before, that it's difficult to really ascertain whether or not Derek really is getting possessed. Or is he simply play acting? But okay, I've just come in, I've just seen it. Looks quite impressive. <laughs> Usually he saved it to the last minute. I think so that, I'm quite surprised uh, that, that elicited now. a response from the audience. What was that response when you said he was play acting? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Um, let's just go back I to. Expect nothing less. <laughs> Lower Wellhead Farm. He came up with these names Eliz Elizabeth Device, Whittle, Elizabeth Southern which turns mm -hmm. out is Demdike, one of the Pendle witches. Um, in Bullhole Farm, he came up with Alison Device and the idea that the spirits were travelling with them wherever they went tonight. Um, I have to say, Yvette's very freaked out tonight, and, and so is Derek. And what is really weird is that David Wells went to the locations earlier today and you experienced similar things. Almost exactly the same thing. So, so what would you say to Matthew? <laughs> I know, in, terms of nice to but in terms of experiencing the same things, what do you mean? What did you experience there? Well, I experienced um, the same... I, I found the same amount of women. I was personally set upon by the grandmother, by, who turned out to be Elizabeth. I didn't get her name. However, the description is exactly the same. Um, I knew that they were travelling with me throughout the three locations. The same door moved um, for, for us when we were there. All sorts of things. Sorts of um, I think it is good. That's why I like the fact that David is involved in the investigation as well as Derek. And I think it's an important aspect of these kinds of investigations to, if you're going to involve mediums at all, to invo involve more than one. And mm. ideally, independently, if there's no chance of these people in any way kind of um, did you, did you liaising talk or talking about it. No, no, I haven't spoken to Derek or anyone, in fact, at all about what I experienced. Well, if that is the case, then, then, that, then that's... No, that is useful, the case. Well, if that is the case, then that's a useful part of the investigation because, again, you can corroborate statements from different mediums. The fact that, again, Derek's come up with names, I know it sounds like a broken record, but some of these names, if not all the names, are available. So if sure. Derek chooses, he could get the information beforehand. That's not to say that's what he does, it just means it's very difficult to separate what he could be doing from the fact he could just be getting information Well, ask David. David, do you, do you thumb through history books and pick names at random? No, I don't. But often, as, Derek, as, as David's often said, he often doesn't you know, get the kind of precise names, exactly what we're looking for in a precise, precise location. And the point that Richard's made before Richard Felix is the fact that, well, of course, Derek's in a difficult position, that if he gets the names, we say, OK, he's read about it beforehand. If he doesn't get names or gets names we can't verify, then we say, OK, you know, he can't win. And I do feel Derek's in a difficult, difficult position for that, but it doesn't convince me that what he's come up with is necessarily paranormal information. OK, what about you, Richard Felix? Well, I was just going to come up with this business of, of Elizabeth Southern, because the, the, if, if Derek is looking at, at guidebooks and history books and that sort of thing, he is going to pick up the fact that this woman was called Demdike. Everybody knows them yes. as Chattox and Demdike. Not many people know that her actual name is Elizabeth Southern. Oh. And when Yvette was talking about Demdike and asking about it, something seemed to happen and Derek seemed to go off on one and we heard her shout, or him shout, her shout possibly, my name is Elizabeth Southern, which I find very impressive because, as I say, anybody can read it, oh yeah, Demdike and Chattox, end of story. And that's what most people refer to them as. For him to actually come up, doesn't happen very often, with both names like that, and the fact that it, the other name was, was nothing but um, her nickname, which is what's in the history books. And I do find that good. I, I am impressed, I must be honest with you. That was a good one. OK, Matthew? I think on the face of it, again, suggesting that um, you wouldn't necessarily expect him to come up with the obvious stuff. In fact, if he comes up yeah, with the But he name, often does not, come up yeah, with the Yeah, exactly. Stuff. But then again, just because you've done the research or not done the research doesn't necessarily mean you come up with the right names or the very precise yeah, names. Yeah. But the simple point is, if the information is available, you can't always rule that out as a possibility, and that's what makes it very difficult to assess what he appears to be doing. OK, well, uh, let me just ask you, Richard Jones, I just want to move this on slightly. Um, you were talk we were talking about whether witches were malevolent, and you, you had a point that you made to me in, in the break. Yeah, the point I was making was uh, it, some families who were renowned as local witches, and don't forget this was a very poverty-stricken area, very isolated, hemmed-in area in those days, mm. and some families who had the reputation for witchcraft uh, deliberately dwelt on that reputation. They'd use it, they'd go out begging, and they'd say, you give us food or we'll uh, turn your milk, we'll kill your cows. Uh, and 
certainly these families, it does seem they'd be today the sort of family that if they were active today, we'd take out an antisocial behaviour against them. They weren't completely innocent of being uh, nuisances in the district. Uh, I personally do believe they were certainly innocent of any charge of witchcraft. I have to say, well, what, you know, I know there are differences of opinion, but I have to say what we've seen tonight is certainly impressive. I mean, it, it, it's been amazing to watch, uh, but let's see what happens for the rest of tonight. Nice shirt, by the way. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. <laughs> what do you want? Um, OK, well, um, now, what I want to uh, talk you through now is the sealed room experiment. Now, you may remember last night, we put Kieran O'Keefe in a room in the Trinity Centre, and then we sealed that room. We had a number of recording devices, OK? And then, earlier on today, Kieran went back and had a look to see what had happened. And we have actually, we appear to have captured something that happened in that sealed room. Room. Okay, let's first of all have a look at uh, a picture of Kieran, which was taken, there we are, that's taken just um, as he left the sealed room last night. Now, if you look over his left shoulder as you're looking, at the back on the mats, the, on the mat there is a ball, okay? The ball is on the blue mats at the back. When he went in today, he took a Polaroid photograph. And when we look at that Polaroid photograph, the ball has moved off the mats and is now on the floor. Let's have a look again. The ball on the mat over his left shoulder. And there we are. That is the Polaroid where the ball has moved from the mat onto the floor. Paranormal? Spooky. Paranormal? Um, I don't... Well, that's one interpretation. Um, what we, of course, that shot of Kieran was the last time he was televised there. He might not be immediately before he went out. It'd be nice to get some testimony from him to say... Does he have a memory as he actually locked the door, the ball was still there? Um, again, we'd be better if we had a Polaroid as he closed the door, so this is exactly as it was as we left the room. Even if we still have that, doesn't negate the possibility the ball moved for some normal, some, some normal reason. So, yes, the ball moved, but it could be lots of reasons why so, the ball so, moved. So you say it could actually be uh, something that, say, you the, could the explain ball, with physics? Well, for, yeah, exactly. From, the, from the, that shot there, you can't see exactly if the ball is safely hidden somewhere tucked away and has somehow moved from there it, you know, through some perhaps paranormal way, or has the ball simply rolled away throughout the night and is therefore in the morning somewhere in the middle of the Very room? Very quickly, David Wells, what do you think of that explanation? Well, <laughs> um, I could see that. However, I think personally it probably has been moved by the small boy that's there. I think maybe if the Harlem Globetrotters had appeared actually on the Polaroids, that would have been better for Matthew. OK, thank you very much. I'll break it up at this point. I'll break it up. It's time to move to our Absolutely next better. location. We're now going to Tynedale Farm. It uh, has been in the past owned by the Nutter family, and this is its dark story. Tyndale Farm is the derelict remains of a once proud Tudor dwelling. This side of the valley has a chequered paranormal history with frequent sightings of monks and women in grey. But it's the house itself which seems to be the focus of activity. It was bought by a local family and they allege that the house is full of spirits and presences. Lights, screams and bangs seem to come from the buildings after dark and most of the locals won't come anywhere near it. Could this be the site of the Pendle Witch's secret meeting place? OK, so that is the story. Well, I'm now joined by Laura Nutter, whose family actually owns that particular farm, correct? Yeah, that's correct, yeah. OK, how long have uh, the family had the farm in their possession? Uh, we bought it in about 1970 off a farmer that lived at Bull Hall. A farmer, OK. Yeah. And are you scared to go into that farm? Um, not totally scared, but there's definitely something there, I what? feel. What? What is there? I don't know. I don't know exactly what's there, but there's definitely something there. But I feel that it's peaceful rather than... OK, frightened. so, but in terms of other people, other members of the family, has anyone actually seen anything or witnessed anything in the farm? Um, a few, about 20 years ago, one, a family member did actually see something outside the farm. Somebody knelt at the front of the farm where the wall is, at the front of the house. Possibly, you know, wearing a cloak, maybe male, female, not quite sure what it was. But then a few years later, maybe four or five years ago, somebody else did see something, not a family member, but... So what? Some, well, another man we or female wearing a cloak, but walking down the lane this time, as opposed to kneeling outside. OK, so what do you make of the witch's story? Um, I do believe. I think that there's definitely something to believe. Uh, whether it's all true or not, I'm not quite sure. But. 
OK, and we, we've had this discussion earlier tonight about whether these witches were actually malevolent, whether they were bad. What, what are your feelings on that? I do feel that maybe some of them weren't bad and some, some maybe were bad, but I think that some maybe did heal people, like, that, like they say, but whether that's true or not. But the big question is, what are you expecting tonight as we continue our investigation? Well, I don't know. I don't know whether we want to find something in, in our house, you know, in, in the home or not. I'm not quite sure, but uh, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> Whether we it's there will. or not. <laughs> we certainly will. So what will happen as we investigate Tyndale Farm? We'll find out in a few minutes. <laughs> live on this Halloween night. So much has happened so far. And although Derek has had loads of experiences, I've also been told that loads of the other t of the team have also had experiences. Kath, for example, and Yvette herself. Um, we are actually going to go over to probably the most unnerving of tonight's locations. It's Tyndale Farm, and the team are there right now. So let's go and join them. Yvette, what has happened to the rest of the team? Okay. Okay. God, this is a horrible place, isn't it? Yeah. How are we all feeling yeah, inside? Feeling it's awesome. not as if you're yeah. like here and shutting the yeah, door. Yeah, I'll shut the door behind right. us. Well, tonight so far has been really unnerving for all of us. God, this is horrible, yeah. horrible place. It hasn't done good for you. No, it hasn't. How, it's, re it's like, I know, there's a very famous film called Blair Witch. This is it on a bigger scale. I can't, that's how I'm describing it to you. It's derelict, it's, it's just nasty. It's a horrible place. We've, we've all experienced things, particularly in the last, uh, not the last location, the location before. Kath, what, what happened to you? Just come forward, just explain. Um, the door upstairs was pushed out of my hand and there was nobody there. Um, we was around the table and something grabbed my head. It was, it was so real, I, it felt so real. I've never screamed like that at all. Of all the it. shows I've done, I have never screamed like that ever. Oh, no, it, I mean, it set us all off, didn't it? I mean, yeah. and, and yeah. Carl felt things. Um, how's everybody feeling here? Very nervous. Are you? Yeah, it's not nice. It's There's not noises nice down all. there. There's noises? Well, when we were just, when, when we were waiting for, for you to come in, when we set up, there are noises above us, there's noises right behind John. He's behind some steps to the cellar. Um, there are some noises right down there. Um, it's not nice at all. Are we all nervous? Yes. Yeah. Are you nervous, John? Yes, I yeah, am. You are. <laughs> Should we go down into the cellar? Yeah. Okay, if we yeah, go down I'm first, you're all right, Derek. Kieran, yes. everybody? Yeah, I'm fine. Holy <coughs> moly, look at okay, that. Yeah. Oh my god. Shall you're I go right. first? Do you want me to go? Oh, you go. Yeah, come on, I'm right behind you. Oh god. Nothing's going to happen to you, okay? Oh my god. Don't worry. Sorry, Watch your head. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, don't, don't worry. Why don't you just go down slowly? Okay. Oh. It's steep, isn't it? Oh, God, yeah. Watch your head on that ball. Oh. oh, it's small. It's okay. It's small. It's just... Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Some noises were down here. Yeah. It's a very small area, isn't it? Yes. Okay. It's really small down here, John. It's okay, Lord. All right. How are we feeling? You all right, Gary? Yes, yes. Oh, where we go? What? Oh, look, they're coming in just like the crew. They're coming in here now. Are they? They followed us in. There's a group of them again, Evie. And, um... Is it the same group? It's the same group. Okay. And they're saying, get out. They're telling us to get out. Well, if they want us to get out, then maybe they should show us something, make a noise, move something. Can they hear my voice? They can hear you, right. they can hear all of us, okay. and they can see us what as well. What if I was to antagonise? Is well, that a daft thing to do? I mean, you can, you, you can question them, but, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't advise to total antagonise because okay. I feel they're in an angered state anyway. OK. And they followed us. They don't need vehicles to follow us either. If anything happens, can you hear me upstairs? Yeah. Right, if anything happens up there, you just shout out, OK? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Oh, Jesus, I feel sick. Are you all right? Yeah. Turn the yeah. camera on yourself, John. You all right? Do you yeah. feel faint? 
Yeah, I feel sick, really sick. They're actually going to be draining on our energies now. They're going to be zapping us for our energy. Are you all right, John? Yeah, Do you I'm want okay. Stuart to take no, over? No, I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm okay. How does everybody else feel? Stuart, John? You want the truth? Yeah, go on, Stuart. Pardon my friend, but I'm absolutely fucking petrified. Are you really? Yeah, that last location and um, on the way down here, I had a quick wander around and um, what I was witnessing no. wasn't nice. Okay. Evil. Right. It's not yeah. not good. No. Okay. Are there any spirit people here in this house now? If there are, please can you give us a sign? Let us know that you're here. We know that you're here. Don't be cowards. Come forward. Give us a sign. Let us know that you are here. Talk to us. Try and communicate with us. Move something. Bang something. Touch one of us. Bang a door. Do anything at all, let us know you're here. Show some light anomalies. Show yourself in light form, do anything at all. Whisper in one of our ears, touch one of us. Do anything. I think what we'll do is just remain really quiet now. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. keep your feet totally still. Still, still, still. Conversations. It's like the group is not whispering. They don't want us to know. Because if they spoke at a louder tone, the conversation would be heard. Come on, don't be shy. Don't be whispering. Show yourselves. We're not frightened of you. They're grouped here for ritual. Ritual sending out thoughts. Sending out thoughts. And it's as if they wanted to. That seems to be like a spiritual act, but it's not a spiritual act, it's the opposite of it. It's like as if they're sending thoughts out, they want to rescue something or they want to get something back. And it's not good what they want to get back. And it's not good. And then there's these chants and they're doing, it's like as if, and you know, in this area here, my head seems as if it's been blasted with spells and a spell all around Can us. Can you try and oh. tell me what the words are? The chanting? Yeah. Anything like that? There's the woman. There's this woman. She, there she is. And she's got those she's got those fingers. And she's got the bones. And she's putting them together. And she's placing them. It's in this area. And here. And it's as if she's... This is evil and dark and they want to bring these people back and they want to bring their friends back and they're sending these thoughts there's a group of them and collectively they are evil they are evil and they've left the stench of evil here john are you all right john yeah. you're not you're not looking good at all no no i've got a, I've got a sore throat really sore throat yeah. i don't feel like tightening but i just feel like it suddenly got very sore i don't know what it is but should we go from here and go and investigate the rest of the house? I think so. It is yeah. quite it is quite oppressive in here. Yes, it is. Because there's a few of us in here, we might yeah. be picking up on natural. John, I suggest that we go all up the stairs and then okay. you're free to follow us, okay? okay? Sure. We'll do that. Okay? So let us go first. Okay. Very calm. Okay. Should we go into this room? Okay. All right, everyone? Okay. All right, Derek, you can have one of more stuff. Hold on, I need more table. You okay, guys? Yeah, yeah, we're all right, we're okay. Just go slow. Okay, and we've got webcams down also in the cellar, so anybody at home, if you see anything once they've departed, Please watch the webcams because you never know, you might pick up on something at home as well. Um, Pull the video. Are you okay, Derek? You know, I've got a great, oh, this is a weird, this is even strange to me. I've got this um, uh, lady's voice 
and singing, calling out, grace and light, be my father's love, surround me always. Who is that, son? She's a, a, a light. She's not like all the rest. She's come in. She wants you want? She wants to say a piece. She wants for the first time to say a piece. What does she want to say? It's a good soul. There's a light soul that's coming here. Yeah. Won't go down there. Come on. What was You're that? Right. What? There was a hissing noise behind me. Is it the well? Oh, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I just heard a hissing noise. <laughs> it was the webcam, stupid girl. Right. That's right. Okay. What do you want to do? We've got a seance table set up here. Okay. Do you want to have a... Alice Nutter. Alice Nutter. Alice, Alice Nutter. Is it Nutter? Nutter. Nutter. Alice. She's the one who wants to speak. She's the singing lady? Yes. Okay. She's a bright light. She's a bright light. She... Yes. As they cursed and they've done what they've done to her, she's trying to send a blessing to them. She's knows, she knows they've done wrong by her, but she is of the light. And it's like as if she wants them to stop doing what they're doing. And it, it's, yes, she is not a witch. She never was a witch. She is still not a witch like all the rest. What year? What year? What year, please, Sam? August. It's August. Say it again. August 16, 12. Is that when she died? Oh, is that when she passed? Yes, yes. And she gone. Yes. There's this man in front of her and he's telling her that, um, he's telling her that, she, he's telling her that she's a witch. And she, she knows she's not this thing. What's his name? Can you get me the name of this man? He's judged her. He's judged her. What? She's showing me the cross. The cross is a pure light and faith. And she stands firm. And her faith is strong, very strong. What's the name of the man? What's the name, See, name of the man? See if you can the name of this of? man, please. Sam, I keep on asking. Hmm. Sam says he was, she was brought before him. She was brought this gentle soul. She's a lady. She's a lady, the soul. I suggest, why don't we try sitting around the table and maybe yes. trying to get something going so, here? Yeah, please, Derek, yeah. Kath. And do that. Okay, while we set up the table, we're going to go for a break. So join us after the break when we're going to try and do the seance and hopefully get some paranormal activity occurring here. So don't go away. Okay. Live on this Halloween night. Well, Laura Nutter's back with us here on the sofa now. Um, the good news is, Alice Nutter, according to Derek, when he's been communicating with her spirit, was not a witch. So she was a good person. How do you feel? Yeah, it's great news to know that she was a good person, but we always felt that she was anyway. Why? I don't know. If she, you know, we always felt that maybe she was good, maybe she wasn't, but I think that. I was, as a family, we hoped that she was a nice witch. And you said um, you felt a certain feeling when you went into that house. Definitely, there's definitely a sense of peace. But like I said before, going past the cellar, she sent a shiver down my spine, which has been obviously shown in the programme that there's something not very nice in the cellar. But on the ground floor, it's... David Wells, you went there today. What did you I pick did. up? Um, well, I started the, the other way around, Derek and Yvette. I started upstairs and was quite happy with the old lady I found there. She, she was lovely. And then what when was I went, she doing? She was sweeping up. She was sweeping around and singing. And she, she was really very nice. And she actually said to me, don't go in the cellar. And I said, well, that's exactly where I'm going to go. But went into the cellar, completely different. It's like a paranormal department store. 
ground, ground floor evil, upstairs, love and light. Matthew Smith, explain that. Uh, well, what explanation is there to give for it? This is, this is something that um, David's experienced there. I can't really comment on his experience. I can't sort of say, well, I think he's lying, I think he's making it up. I don't necessarily think that's enough evidence there to say oh, he really was communicating with the spirits. One interpretation. I think there are more plausible, more likely interpretations. Do you think you'd ever be convinced by someone like David? I think I'd be only like to be convinced when the information is given under conditions that really does go some way and never really can fully rule out the possibility that the information could be gleaned normally or the information is vague um, and ambiguous and could be you know, interpreted in a number of different ways. And it's actually quite difficult to devise tests that are sensitive to the claims of mediums but also rule out those kinds of things. So I'm prepared to do that and I'm, and I'm very keen to kind of look at ways of trying to develop better ways of kind of assessing these kinds of, these kinds of ideas. It must be quite difficult for people like you, David, I guess, to convince people, I guess. I don't have to convince anyone, David, okay. absolutely not. Julian. Right, well, first of all, our vote. Uh, very interesting, this. We're asking whether the witches were genuine or not. And this is how it's looking at the moment. The vote, uh, not result, but update. 83% of you are saying yes, they were genuine witches. 17% saying no. Send your text, please, to haunted space EXP for experiment and then your vote yes or no please and we'll update you on that a little bit later on. Now also the box, let's have a look at this because um, we've been asking you what's in the box. Now we're going to conclude the first part of this by saying it is not a piece of cloth, legal documents, chain with a heart or diamond jewellery, an old metal wash basin, no I can tell you it's not that, a doll belonging to the Nutter family, that's not right either. What I can tell you it's a stone carving of a witch's head. So what I want to know is, what's the face look like? So that's how we're going to move that on now. And I want you to uh, please fax us your drawings, please, so I can tell you. Stone face, 01200 425 737. That's 01200 425 737, please. Now, the webcam's very busy on that as well. Thank you so much. Um, webcam's update now. Webcam 1, over 25 reports of green, yellow and blue orbs appearing in both our cellar cam and hovering around the backs of Yvette's and Derek's heads. Uh, webcam 2, at least 30 reports of an elderly woman dressed in white moving down the stairs and then vanishing, uh, including one from Christopher in Hartlepool and Sarah in Cheltenham. Thank you for that. Uh, webcam 3, lots of recent reports of female figures picked up by Webcam 3. Uh, Sarah in Germany, thank you very much. Bergen in Germany there. Janice in Harrogate. Uh, David in Coleraine, thank you very much. And Webcam 4, uh, this is interesting. All seen a uh, mysterious black-haired woman with gouged out eyes. Linda in London, Daniel in Hatfield, Peter in Stevenage, uh, Robert in Welling Garden City. And then in on the facts came, uh, here we are, this comes from Sylvia Royal in Lichfield. Uh, picture. She had no eyes, interestingly, so thank you very much uh, for that. And then finally, here's one. This lady and her son, I feel, lived, lived in one of the farmhouses the Tim, team have yet to visit. They're actually now there, of course, now. And thank you, Bob Barr from Sheffield, from that lady, and a small child behind. That is the latest from Interactive. David, back to you. Julian, I just have to tell you something really, really quickly, because David Wells just said to Matthew, I bet in that box is a stone head, and he didn't even really? know. Is that true? Yeah, that's, that's absolutely true. true. And Matthew went, ah! <laughs> that's fantastic, <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> OK, <laughs> let's move things on now. We're going to rejoin our investigation team. They're at uh, Tyndale Farm, but they're also in the midst of a seance. So let's go and join them right now. Use the energy that we have around this table. Please come forward. Please try. The temperature has dropped re around my legs. Are you picking that up, Kieran? Yes, I am. You are. Can you yeah. see that? Okay. John, can you go around and get that on the thermal imaging camera? John? OK, just to see the difference. What we're doing here is we've, during the break, and while people have been talking, David's been talking in the studio, we've started a seance. Um, and what we're doing is I'm talking out loud and... Normally in seances, somebody will lead it and a medium is used to channel as a way of communicating with the spirits. At the moment, we, we felt the table move slightly and Carl is feeling... What are you feeling, Carl? I, 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 are you all right? Yeah, I'm, 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 I don't know how I feel. I feel drained. I feel like I'm kind of... One minute I'm here, the next minute your, your voice is like just a distant echo. It's are you really okay? weird. Yeah. 
Do you want uh, me to carry on? I, 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 yeah, I want to see where this is going. Okay. Yes. Kieran, any suggestions how we can make this more? Either, I don't know. The... No, the first thing is to move your hands out. I've just had a huge breeze right across my hand here. Mm -hmm. Can you feel that, Derek? I felt it coming across my left hand. Okay. And again. Okay. Alice Nutter. Alice, can you hear me? If you want to talk to us, please give us a sign. Let us know that you're here. We need more of a sign. Can you move the table for us in any way? Move this glass. Affect one of us. If you can, talk to one of us. Use Derek. Use his voice box. Please try and talk to us. Touch Kath, myself, touch Carl, any members of the people here in this room. Show us some lights if you can. Please step forward. Use our energies now. Use our energies. You all right, Carl? Freezing. It is freezing. Mm. Yes. It's so cold. This, you right, this close spiritual energy, it could be Alice. It okay. could be Alice Nutter, this. Okay. Someone's moving the table. Oh. <gasps> oh my God. Is that you, Alice? It's floating. Yes. Alice, can you hear me if you can? Make the table move more violently, please, so that we know you're here. Please make the table move more violently if you can hear my voice. Is that you, Alice? Please move the table more. Please, if you can, let's lift our arms back. Do you think, Kieran? Yes, to the edge of the table. Edge of the table. Okay. Please try and talk to any of us, please. I can see the breath in front of my... Is it moving? Oh, yeah, it is. Please try and talk to us now if you can. Please move this table if you can. Try and talk to Derek. Use his voice box if you can. Touch one of the people in this room. Make the glass move on its own. Bang one of the doors in the house. Let Whoa. us know. God, there is such a draft. Yeah. It's moving, isn't it? Is that table moving again? Yeah, it is. Whoa. Yeah. I'm going to take my hands off. Mm. Please try and talk to us. If you were a witch and you used to practice here, then please, don't be a coward, come forward. Try and touch one of us. Try and move this table. Move the glass. Affect one of us. Touch one of us. Anything you can. Whisper in our ear. Bang something. Do anything at all. Show us some lights. Is it moving? It's, it's, yeah, it's been moving. Just a bit. Yeah. If, it's, if it's not Alice, is it, the, is it the man that accused her? Okay. Are you a man present? Are you male present? If you are, then please give us a bigger sign. We need a bigger sign. Ooh, Great. That's really... It's creaking. Yes. Do you hear please creaking? give us a bigger sign. Let us know that you are here. Please, if you can try and lift this table, please let us know that you are here, that you wish to talk to us. Lift the table if you can. Lift the table if you can for me. As a sign of yes. Are you all right, Carl? Carl? What's the matter? You're just going into that. I can hardly hear you. Do you want to step out the side? No, I'm not. Kieran, do you want to try on the glass and see if we get any? Oh, you're right. What's the matter? What's up? What's up, Cam? Are you all right? John, was you behind me No, I wasn't. I was to your left. What's happened? The table's still moving. This table is still moving slightly. It's going. Can you feel it, Kieran? I can feel it, yeah. Moving ever so slightly. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to try the glass? Because of the success of the last place, definitely. Okay, fingers mm -hmm. on glass. Okay. If anybody at all feels it, are you all feeling all right in the room? Mm -hmm. Is everybody <coughs> feeling fine? I feel oh. lightheaded. You do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I feel lightheaded and a bit conscious. You do. Mm. Okay. Arm, arms off the table. Lift your arm right off the table so it doesn't move move anything. Is there anybody here present in this room with us now? If you wish to talk to us, you can move this glass. Use our energy to try and communicate with us now. Please, oh. please move this glass as a sign. Please move this glass. Do you wish to talk to us? Wow. You do? God? Okay. Are you male? If you're male, please move the glass as a sign of yes. Are you male? Are you male? Are you female? Are you a woman? Are you a woman? You are a woman. Is your name Alice? No. Give me some names, Derek. Okay. 
Elizabeth. Are you Elizabeth? Are you Elizabeth? Is your name Elizabeth? It's Elizabeth now. Were you a witch, Elizabeth? Were you considered a witch? Oh. Elizabeth, can you see us, Elizabeth? Can you see us? Do you wish us to leave? If you do, give us a definite sign. Do you wish us to leave? Come on, we need more from you, Elizabeth. We won't leave unless you tell us to leave. Use all our energies to let us know that you want us to go. Oh Whoa! Oh, I could have been the table. Content. Okay. Did you die here, Elizabeth? Did you die here? Were you hanged, Elizabeth? Were you hanged? Were you tortured, Elizabeth? Oh, my God. Did they take her fingers off? Did they take your hands and fingers off, Elizabeth? Okay. Can you try and move this table for us? Can you do anything to the members of the crew here? Move the glass if you can. Can you affect a member of the crew here? If you can, around this table, take the glass to the person you will affect. Can you do that? If you want to touch one of them, please move the glass. To okay, I'm waiting, Elizabeth. I'm waiting for you. Are you going to affect me? Push the glass towards me if you are. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting, Elizabeth. It may not be now. Are you going to do it now? Are you going to do it later? Are you okay? What's up, Kath? What's the matter? Kath, what's the matter? I feel sick. You feel sick. Are you on your own, Elizabeth? It's just me and Kath. Are you on your own? How many other people are with you? Are there many other spirits here? I will count up to ten. I want you to move the glass to let me know how many of you are in this room. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you are joking. Go on. Nice. You all right? You're right Who was that? Andy. What's up, Andy? Yeah. What's someone the matter? Just, someone just uh, got someone was breathing on my neck. You're kidding? No, I'm serious. Okay. <coughs> are you going to affect any other of the crew members here? God. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. The table. What was that? Okay. The table's just snapped. My God. Okay. So it's I, snapped. I, I pressed hard on the glass thing because I didn't want it to go off. No, off, no. Off, on the floor, but. Is it snapped? Yeah. It's snapped off the bottom, bottom here. Jesus Christ. My God. Put your fingers back on. Yeah. Right, well, we haven't got time. Then. Put your fingers back on. <laughs> Elizabeth, are you still here with us now? Oh my God! <gasps> oh my word! Elizabeth, we need more. Can you move this table? Can you move the table for us now? Can you try and lift the table for us? If you want us to leave, you need to do something else. You need to really scare us, Elizabeth, before we'll go. Come on, Elizabeth, do something else. Do something else, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, come on. Do something else. Do you need our help, Elizabeth? Are you happy where you are now? where you are. Do you hate us, Elizabeth? Is it because we're good people? Is that why you hate us? Jeez. Oh. oh. It's all type of thing. It's all one Thank you. Get first. Derek. Muff. Get back on. Elizabeth, can you make this can you make this glass jump? Can you make this glass come off the table, Elizabeth? Elizabeth, can you make this? I can't even get my finger on it. 
Can you make this glass jump, Elizabeth? Can you make the glass move up? Try and get it off. Ah! Oh, my oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, that's so happy! Oh, okay. Fine, fine, fine. It's fine, it's okay. Okay, fine, you're fine, fine, fine. Oh, fine. fine. You're oh yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. I feel sick, sick, uh -oh. sick, sick. Okay, calm now, calm. Should we see if we can... Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Oh, okay so we're going to take that. Right. Yeah. Okay, she liked that, okay. didn't she? I'm yeah. Just, I'm just letting you know, um, I'm... Kieran, just for your... I'm, I'm trying to, to keep an eye on this leg. This yeah, leg's broken. I know, it's very okay. loose, there's um, just no way. And I can't... OK. Uh, so <laughs> if my leg is next to it... Oh, Whoa! Yeah. Did you just lift no, that I, glass? I, 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 no, okay. I lifted the table. Okay, I lifted okay, the table, all right, all right. Put your fingers saying, no, If you see my leg next to it, I'm only trying to hold it together. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm, 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 yeah. Okay. No form, it's uh, moving already. The table, so. I think we'll stay here for a little while. I nice think everybody would want us to stay here, it's I think. Spinning. It's, it's spinning. spinning. Look at it, yeah. God, the draft around my hand. Yeah, same here. The draft here. around my hand. Yeah, she's really pushing. Elizabeth, can you try and lift this glass? Lift this glass, Elizabeth. Lift this glass for us. Lift this glass for us, Elizabeth. Lift it off the table if you can. Elizabeth, please lift this glass off the table if you can. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, can you move it off the table? Can you make the glass come off the table? Can you make a door bang in this building, Elizabeth? Can you shout out, Elizabeth? Make a noise, Elizabeth. Are you gonna do that for me? Move the glass as a yes if you can shout out. Near have, anyone, anyone in particular in are room? you near anybody now? Point the glass if you're near anybody now. Oh, great. Okay. You can't. Are you, um, are you going to... Have you, have you been following us, Elizabeth? Are you going to continue following us? Are you going to stay here? Elizabeth, is this where you used to meet? Did you torture people here, Elizabeth? Did you? Oh my God, that's yes. really freaky. Oh, yeah. I'm so what freaked happened? out. Okay, come, on, come on, come on, Kim. You tortured, you tortured people here, didn't you? You did. Do you know how nasty you are? Do you like being nasty? God. Don't you wish to go to the light to cross to the other side? Don't you want to go to the other side? God, Are all good. nine of you still mm. here? Are all nine of you still here? Can you do something else apart from spinning this glass? Can you do something else apart from spinning this glass? There are nine of you in this room and all you can do is spin a glass? No, not really, not, not really. Mm -hmm. Can you do something else, Elizabeth? Do anything to me. Elizabeth, can you do something else? I think what we'll do is if it's okay with the studio, I don't know, is to maybe go to a break. We'll keep with this and try other things and um, we'll keep recording. I think that's the best thing to do. What do you think in the studio? Yes, Yvette, that's absolutely fine. The plot certainly is thickening. Tables are moving, the glass is moving. What will happen next? You cannot afford to go anywhere. See you in a few minutes. I've got it. 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 I've got it.
Oh. Okay, Stu, we've got you, lad. We got you. Watch his legs, watch his legs. Okay, we got him. Oh my god! Oh, 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 is he breathing? He's putting the ligatures around, oh. isn't he? Yeah, it's all right. It's right. like with John. Oh, OK. Stuart. Tell him, tell him, tell hang him, on, Steve, you can take that off. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <coughs> right, so let's pull around the back. Yeah, OK. Thank you. Thank you. Stuart. OK, OK. Oh, Stuart. He's OK, he's going to be Stuart, OK. Stuart, he's going to be all right. He's, just he's going to be all right, yeah. John felt a tightening round yes. his throat. And yeah. then like, the next thing, that Stuart is retching like, and, and then he, he just went over. Yeah. And he's all, are you all right, Stuart? Yeah, some water. You want water? Yeah. Anybody got yeah. some water for yeah. Stuart? Yeah, all right. Relax, bud. Come on. That's all they're doing. They're putting, like, a rope they round. Said, they said, didn't okay, they? That's yes. what they were going to do. Stuart, no, Stuart. Are you all yeah, right? Yeah, I know, Stuart, I know. You're all right, Stuart. Okay. Okay. That's but all they can do is place it round you. went over, Stuart. Did you feel anything else on your body? No, it's just a stand strangulation up? all around me. Yes. Yeah, I need, I need some water. So, yes, come yeah. on. Oh, my God. Come on, big guy. Boy, hang on. Okay. Come down here. Come down here. I'm OK. I'm OK. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's it's right. there. Let me have a look at your throat. Oh, my God. The pa apparently, you've got a clip of what happened. Um, oh, God. Let's have a look now. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Have a look at what happened. Capable of is the table moving? Oh. You all right? Oh. What's the matter, what? John? What? John, um, John, 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 what's up? All right. John? I'm going through the tightening. Oh, God. OK. Mm. You all right, John? OK. You all right? OK. Oh. He's got it again. OK. You all right? Oh, God. You all right, John? I'm all right. You all right? OK. You all right, John? OK, that's loosened that. It's loosened it, John, OK? Yeah, John. All right. Yeah. Someone's just put that going? around you, that's all, OK? She's just trying to dishevel, OK? You're going to be OK. All right. Come on, you can breathe. You can breathe. I can, yeah. OK. John, are you all right, darling? Yeah. I'm going to go out for a bit and I'll have it. You all right? Sure. Oh! What's that? OK, OK. Hang on, hang on. Stu, 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 Stu! Stu, Stu! What are you doing? What are you doing? It's all right. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh. You're right, huh? Yeah. 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 My legs have gone. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Okay. 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 Hey. Hey, yeah, yeah. All right, Ev. Don't worry. Okay. I'm going to be all right. Sit down. Sit down. Sorry, take his tool back. Yeah. You sit down, man. Yeah. Okay. No, no, we're going to carry on. on. Are we going to carry on? Yeah, let's carry on. Carry let's carry on. on. Come on. Probably more than that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel so sick. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know? Right. What's is everything? Yeah, she's all right, but I don't recommend you let her back in. No, no, she no, 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 no. Just no. explaining what we were doing. <sighs> going round with the glass, and I was asking specific questions where it was. Yeah. Um, are you going to affect any of the crew here tonight? And he, and he went, yes. And he were gonna, are you going to affect all of us? And he went, oh, yeah. He's just, you see your friends, you know, Stuart and Kath affected and John. And, um, and that's what's happening. It seems to be picking one of us each off at a time. Yeah. Uh, so it's almost like, are they, are they frightening us? This, what are they doing? That's the, trying to dishevel us. As you've said, pick one at a time and to, you know, break the group up. No, well, they're not going to break it up. No, right, come no. on. Right. They've only got so much they can do, Evie. OK. And they right, know Carl? it as well. You all right, Carl? You're freezing. Yeah. You all right? Yeah, you are. You're right. freezing. OK. Do you want to try Bring again? Effect. Come on. Come OK. On. Come on. Are you happy with your effect now? Oh, God. OK. OK. Are you laughing at us? Oh. Who you yeah. are going to affect now? If I tell you what, all stand around this table. Oh. All stand around this table. Come close, John. All right, Carl. Everybody stand around this table. Right. Yeah. Who are you going to affect now? Point the glass at who you are going to affect yeah. now. Who are you going to affect now? Point the glass at who you are going to affect now. Are you all right, Carl? Careful, Carl. Yeah. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, 
Oh, you're freezing. No, I'm fine, yeah. I'm fine. Let's do All it. Right. Let's do it. Okay. More than that. Okay. Okay. Try and lift this table off. My God. God. Try and lift. That was snatched out of my hand. Yeah. Yeah. Try and lift this table off the floor. Try and get us all out. It's going to take you a long time to get each and every one of us out. So try and lift this table off the floor. Do something else. Because you're only taking one at a time. You need to take all of us to get us all out. How are you going to do that? Lift this table off the floor and scare us all to death and we'll never come back again. Lift the table off the floor. You feel that breeze on your hand. Mm -hmm. My God. Yeah, right across that. Come Whoa. on, Liv. You all right? You all right, it's Derek? All right. Yes, you all right? I'm okay. I can feel it all around us. Everybody else feel okay? Let us know if you don't. Please come forward. That's you it. You cannot harm us. You cannot harm us. Lift the table off the floor. Lift the table off the floor. Lift the table off the floor if you can. Carl, I'm very worried about no, you. I'm fine. No, you're not. You're not, you're not, Carl. You're not. I'll let you know when I'm not. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. It's okay, that's good. Yeah, okay. 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 Whoa. Lift it higher. Lift it higher, Elizabeth. Lift it. Oh my god, that is just Lovely. weird. It was only me and you. Lift yeah. the table higher. Come on, you're enjoying this, aren't you? You're enjoying yourself. Lift the table off the floor, Elizabeth. Come on, Elizabeth, do it again. Do it again, Elizabeth. Come on, you're affecting Carl, aren't you? You're enjoying it, aren't you? All right, Carl. Yeah, you're okay, Carl. You're okay. Come on, Elizabeth. Are you all laughing all right. together? Are you all laughing? Are you thoroughly enjoying yourself? Okay. You can't do any more, Carl. Carl, you're shaking after Carl. I don't know. I... Carl, Kieran, what other questions should I ask now? There isn't any more questions. Yes. If you want us to okay. leave now, please, a one final attempt. Try and throw this table across the floor. Try and lift it up and throw this table across the floor. You know you can... Ah! 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 What's the matter? Oh, no. We've... Well, we've uh, lost Yvette, Derek, and the rest of the team. Uh, we, okay. They've come rounds. back. We, we have now got a regained still here. Uh, What's a happened? signal. John, explain. Right, sorry, 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 sorry. John so, was. just tapped me on the back of the head. Sorry, on the back of the head. Yeah. Yeah. You're okay. You're okay. okay. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, we've got to stop it now. Yeah, we're all right. Okay, good, 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 good. No, come on. What's happened? Who's did that? You all right, Sally? Okay. Carl, are you okay? Yeah? Come out for a minute then. What would happen if we stood around and didn't have our fingers on? I think that the glass thing is, is giving the, the energy around, yeah. isn't it? Do you want us to keep our fingers on this glass? Yeah, you freeze. Yeah. The glass? Yeah. The, yeah. The, yeah. the glass is moving on its own with my finger on it. Okay. Please join us after the break. They're picking us off one. Well, we're going to have to take a very short break, but don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a few minutes' time. I have to say, it's the most bizarre night. What's going on in Tyne Del Farm? I have to tell you that uh, our cameraman, John Dibley, has also collapsed during the course of the investigation tonight. Um, Stuart has collapsed, also Kath, and this spirit that they uh, uh, appear to be picking up is extremely malevolent indeed. David Wells, we, we were promised an amazing night. I think it's been delivered. We certainly were promised a very, very special night. And, uh, you know, it doesn't surprise me they're ganging up against them. You know, one would have been bad enough, but nine? I, I have to say, I've done this show for two years. That freaks me out, Matthew. I think that has been the most fascinating ten minutes of this show. And I've had to say, what, 11 shows now, something like that? And so I was trying to say, say, David, before, in terms of a normal expect, you know, that's what I'm here for, to say, OK, what could be going on if it's not paranormal? Could be something like mass hysteria. Everyone's now feeling this kind of, there's a scenario building, they've got a kind of a way of explaining it, and what we're mainly seeing, apart from the kind of the, 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 the um, glass moving, but people reporting kind of feeling ill, that could be mass hysteria. I mean, okay, you're, a, 
you're training, you're a medical doctor. What would be your explanation for that? Well, I agree, and I've seen a lot of mass hysteria, but that, I mean, obviously the mass hysteria could play a part in it, but what we're witnessing is not true mass hysteria, in that there, is, there appears to be something happening in that location. There does appear to be. Um, that is the most convincing thing I have seen since I've done this show. And you were very frightened when that, that glass went over. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I was. I, I'll admit it. I was, I was really frightened. But let's have a look now at uh, what's happened just before the break. Come on. Come on, I'm inviting you. You despicable souls. You dirty souls. You dirty souls. Pick it up, pick it up, where is it? Got it. You alright, Derek? Derek, yeah, Derek, yeah, get I'm it fine. off. Get it off, Derek, get it off. Come forward, Derek. Derek, come forward. Derek, Derek, Derek. Come forward, it's Ivy. Don't let them get you. Derek, listen to me. Listen to me. Alright, Ivy, I'm okay. here, I'm here, yeah. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. Yeah, okay. yeah. Don't let them get into you. You're strong, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll have yeah. Have some water, sweetheart. Are you all right? On, give Have some water. You don't even know where you are, do you? He doesn't know. Yeah. Exact him, exact well, him, exact him. Where you are. I want you to stand up for it, seriously. Stand up, stand up, darling. Yeah. Come on up now. Would it work the last pictures that we received from the uh, outside broadcast before we lost the signal. We have got it back now, so let's go and join them now. Yeah, it's fine. Are you all right? It's fine, all right? Good, good. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just so, uh, the most amazing things have been happening here. Yeah. Carl has, yeah. has dropped. John is back on camera, but just explain, John, if you can, what happened to you. I don't know. I don't know what happened to me. I just felt... I don't I know I felt if... sick. I felt sick. I felt ill, and then I just... I felt like I was fainting. I just had to put the camera down, and I just remember being dragged out. That was all. All right. And no, I don't I know. I don't know if the studio happened to have seen these pictures of, of, of John collapsing and then Carl collapsed. Kath was also taken out. She collapsed. We've se apparently seen them. So. Carl is fine, Kath is fine, mm. John is back up, Stuart is fine, everybody's fine. Derek, are these spirits trying to harm us or are they just trying to frighten us? They're doing their best to, uh, to frighten us, to alarm us, to dishevel us. They can't do it anymore. I, I, I know what they've done is seriously enough, but um, they, they've been taking time out, Ivy, to, and they're laughing, they're, they're alert, they think it's hilarious because they're answering your questions. Kieran, what, what do you think? One by one, taking what do you think, each one Kieran? out. I witnessed, I witnessed all of this and it has been an absolute frenzy here. It's really difficult to like, keep track of everything that's going on, but the crew are dropping like flies. They're just going, it just people are having such amazing experiences. EMF, normal. Air pressure, normal. The only thing is, if there are any comments about infrasound, that's a possibility, but there's just so many people having just bizarre experiences. And how do you feel yourself? I feel, I feel fine. I'm just trying to keep level-headed, because okay. that's my role here. I'm trying to keep level-headed, okay. but it's so tough oh. with everything that's going on. All right, it's back to the studio. We're going to stay here, OK? So it's back to mm -hmm. you, David. Well, Yvette, it is such amazingly gripping stuff. It is the most bizarre night. So what I want to do now is just to say a, a very quick thank you and good night from all of us here in the studio tonight. But do remember to join us again tomorrow at 9 o'clock when we will be investigating the dark and the unknown. What will happen tomorrow night? Now, we will be live again. We'll be in a haunted Tudor house in the shadow of Pendle Hill. But a very big thank you to everyone involved tonight, to all of our experts, to all of our audience here in the studio and also to you at home. We're going directly back to Tyndale Farm to join in that uh, seance once again. But rest assured tonight, and this is really important, that whatever happens, Derek will close down the seance and he will leave the house clear of all spirits. Let's go back to Tyndale Farm now, but good night from us. Have we got uh, somebody again. else to stand they by? Well, they, they, they can yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's moving already. Yeah. Can you feel it? Yeah. Andy, can you feel that? Yeah. Andy, can yeah. you feel it going? Yeah. Now, what we've done is... Are we on air? Are we on air? Are we on air? I don't know if we're on air. Yeah. We are on air. OK. OK, what we've done is Andy, who's security, who's been helping everybody, we just thought, because everybody's dropping like flies, is that Andy's just stepped in just to experience what we're experiencing. Can you feel it, Andy? Yeah, you can feel it moving. Yeah, OK. No pressure on the glass. OK. All right. Elizabeth, are you still here with us now? Okay. What do you think to the new member sitting around the table? Are you going to harm him? Can you see him? If you can, point to him. Point to the new member sitting around the table. Oh, my God. Okay. 
Can you try and harm Andy? Try and frighten him? Okay. We need to try and get you an... Uh, uh... Oh, God. You all right, Evie? Yeah, I'm fine. What's the matter? No, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. We're just going to try and need to get some surnames. Kieran said we need to get some surnames. Okay, Elizabeth. Is Alice with you? Is Alice with you? Alice is with you. Give me some more names, Derek. Oh, come on, Sam, ask me. Ask this one. Ask this Elizabeth. Okay. Try and lift this table. Try and lift this table. Try and harm one of us. Southern. It sounds like Southern. Summer? South no. Southworth. Southworth. It's Southworth. Southworth. Are you Elizabeth, Elizabeth Southworth? Southworth. Yes. Elizabeth Whoa. Southworth. Oh my God! Whoa. Whoa. Elizabeth Southworth, is yeah. that you? Definitely. Okay. All right. Right, we're going to go now. Are you going to give us some one great big scare? Give us one. Oh, oh, oh. We. Okay. Oh yeah. my God, yeah. I have never ever experienced anything like this in my life. Yeah. yeah. I have never experienced answer, yeah. anything. I have yeah, never yeah. seen so many people being picked off. Yeah. Are you going to do one last thing before we go? Okay, make this table jump up then. Make this table jump up. We're not going to go until you do. Are you getting angry with us? Are you getting angry? Make this table flip up in the air if you can. Make this table flip up if you can, Elizabeth. Are you all right, Carl? Are you yeah, okay? Sure. You're fine. Yeah, Andy, how are you feeling? Fine. You're all right. Yeah, okay. Keep recording. We're going to keep recording this. Oh, <laughs> God, okay. Yeah, she's taking it over. Oh, oh God. my God! You're right. <laughs>